What's up Multiverse, Dr. Dave here, welcome to the Geek Lounge. On today's video we're going to discuss the latest updates, the latest news on all things Naruto Kaiyu because we finally, finally, finally have some updates to discuss. So about four or five weeks ago we got first looks at the new cards to be released, I did share a post about it, I think I did post about one more card after that, but we have had some other designs since. But let's start with those first looks, which were this R card of Itachi saying his final goodbyes to Sasuke, as well as this SR card of Kurama like looming over Sasuke and maybe even Naruto. As you guys will see, these are actually horizontal, it's kind of a different design to what we've usually seen with the R and SR cards. And then we did also see this MR of Sasori as well as the SSR of Master Jiraiya. I'm sorry, I can't help saying his name that way anytime I say it. One thing when I first actually shared the post though was there was no like designation numbers or anything like that on the cards. So I'm going to actually zoom in on the Sasori and apologies guys because um, the image quality is not absolutely amazing. It's going to be a bit blurred for you but you should be able to make out there that it does say 001. So this is the uh, first MR card of this new set. What you may not see there though, and you will see it in just a second because I've got clearer images uh, of some of the other cards that are due to come out, it does actually say NRCC. And so if you guys have been collecting the Naruto Kaiyu cards, you will know that the usual designation is NR, followed by the rarity and then the number card in that rarity. And then for the special boxes, so the Heaven and Earth scroll box, the Youth scroll box, the uh, New Year's gift box, they actually come with the designation NRSS. So we do actually have a new designation of NRCC, but what does that mean? Well, if we go by those previous designations, this is of course something completely different, but it would maybe suggest that these are going to be a special box akin to that Heaven and Earth scroll, Youth scroll, or New Year's gift boxes but of course with it being NRCC as I said it is completely different and that was my thinking when I first made the post I think a lot of people thought the same but then I went back used my noggin used my limited brain power let's say uh, and I, I kind of thought you know what that heaven and earth scroll box the use scroll box and the new year's gift box they didn't actually have like exclusive R cards or exclusive SR cards so I was thinking you know what this could actually be a soft reboot but having said that all of the R and SR designs we've seen so far have have been horizontal so maybe they are exclusive and here are a few more including Naruto and Sasuke after their final battle with their arms dismembered I mean it's actually quite a gory card as you guys can see um, but obviously a big big moment big big spoiler actually so if you haven't actually fully seen Naruto Shippuden I don't really know what to tell you guys maybe don't collect the cards then but um if we zoom in here you guys should actually see a better uh, like get a better look, not so blurry here. NRCC SR005, so this would be number five uh, in the SR card range that is coming. We've then also got this other SR um, of Sasuke and Naruto, a young Sasuke and a young Naruto um, at each other's throats. And if we actually zoom in on that, that actually says SR number 12. So for this to be a special box, like 12, that's quite, a lot of, it's not a lot, but it's a lot for a special box if you kind of catch my drift, right? We have also seen this R card of Tsunade kissing uh, Naruto on his forehead. Again, a young Naruto. A lot of, there seems to be a lot of like um, younger designs or or kind of like, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like growing. That'll make a bit more sense um, with some of the other cards you guys will see in a moment. But the, that R card, pardon me, is actually number seven. So... Uh, we know for sure there's going to be at least seven new R cards. We know for sure there's going to be at least 12 new SR cards. So to me, that kind of says like with special boxes, that, that's like a bit too much to be a special box. This kind of says to me soft reboot. We have then seen some new UR cards as well. First up, we saw this one of 1010. I think this was the other one that I shared um, in a post like two or three weeks ago. And if we zoom in there, that actually says UR number eight. So that's already eight URs um, in the collection. But we have then since seen this one of Eno as well, which if we zoom in at the bottom, that, that one might be a little bit more blurred for you guys. So apologies. But that does actually say number nine. So there's at least nine new UR cards. Again, making the suggestion that like 
it's just too many cards for a special box to be released. And now the other thing that we did see maybe, I want to say two weeks ago, was this image here, which says Caillou New Trailer. And then we've got these box designs. They, they look like box designs, don't they? They kind of look similar uh, to the Heaven and Earth Scroll box to an extent, like that same kind of color scheme with the blacks and the golds. But one says regular bag, and then one says special package. So what does that actually mean? Are we getting like a new tier wave box alongside a special edition box, again, akin to the U Scroll and Heaven and Earth Scroll boxes? Or is it gonna be some kind of like premium thing? Like is the one box Box, like the regular edition is that like wave one for instance and then the newer box is more like akin to a wave four if that makes sense to you guys well let me share this with you this picture right here was posted by a gentleman named Carlos in the BAM collectibles Facebook group I will actually link that to the description below it's a great resource uh, for all things Naruto Kayu as well as meeting people in the community trading cards etc etc make sure you go and join it really really cool community but he shared this image I don't know where he got this from, but it, it kind of shares a bit of information, to be honest, um, of what these two different boxes are. Again, I can't really speak for the legitimacy of it, but like if you go by the translations on it, they kind of match to what we've seen previously with translations on like Naruto Kaya cards and other Chinese card sets. So we've got the two boxes either side. One says Age of Ninja Regular, uh, the one on the left, and the one on the right actually says Age of Ninja Movie. I don't know what that means. Are we getting movie specific cards versus like the regular series cards? Not entirely sure. I don't believe any of the cards we've seen so far have anything to do with any of the movies. But um, there's probably loads we've seen. Like I said, we've only seen a couple of SR. We know there's at least 12. We've seen two URs. We know there's at least nine of those. You know, you guys get the picture. Uh, but in the middle here, it does say this product is divided into two versions. So let me actually zoom in for you guys on the Age of Ninja regular version. So over here on the side, then it says process A, ordinary output rate, ordinary card pool, and then many. So that, that kind of screams to me like wave one or tier one, pardon me. I think I said waves earlier, tier, tier one, where you get the lower pool cards. That, that's kind of what that sounds like to me. Let's, um, let's skip the middle bits for a second and go over to the other side, Age of Ninja movie, uh, where it says craft B, higher exit rate, exclusive card pool. And then it seems like the, uh, the translation couldn't decipher what that symbol is entirely. So... Yeah, that kind of sounds like it's a higher tier, essentially. Um, but then with exclusive cards, it's hard to determine. Is it there for a special box? Again, we don't know if this box artwork is, um, you, you know, is accurate. If, if this is legitimate, this could just be a place holding image. So I, I guess only time will tell. In the middle, it does then say differences between versions. So we have differences in card craftsmanship which sounds a little bit weird. That almost sounds like one set is lower quality than the other. Uh, difference in card production rate. That's a little bit more interesting. That may suggest um, SE cards, potentially numbered cards. Um, that's just what it suggests. Again, not 100% sure. Card pool difference. So again, this would almost suggest it is two different tiers because we're going to have a pool of different cards, right? Um, like we see in tier four, we get the BPs uh, and in tier threes, NRs, tier two, CRs, tier ones, the GPs, which not a lot of people seem to care about. <laughs> but um, I, I think you guys catch my drift there. And then we have quantity difference at the bottom. So again, that would suggest to me the number of packs uh, that you maybe get in each box. And if we go again by the side of the Age of Ninja regular, it says many. And then that symbol, which it seemingly couldn't uh, translate there, um, maybe it suggests like less or maybe it has a specific number of packs. 
who knows? And then he shared this image as well. Now, he probably didn't post the original image. I'm not sure who the original source was, to be honest. The reason I say that is because it's clearly a photo of someone's phone who's then taken either a screenshot or themselves taking a photo uh, of a computer screen, kind of like a photo in a photo in a photo, if that makes sense. But this does look a little bit more official. It looks like it could be some sort of store or something. Uh, if you've ever gone on Caillou's website, like Caillou 110, it's definitely not their website. I've kind of like really um, scoured their website for information over the last month and you just don't really find much at all on Naruto on there. But um, it, it looks like it could be a shop or something. You can see it says Naruto Shinobi's Way of Living Stone. That's kind of different though to what the other boxes said. So yeah, not too sure there. It then says product name tentative Naruto Legacy Collection Card Ninja Era. So again, we've got like a slightly different name but the one thing you will see there item number nrcc so that is the designation that we've been seeing um, on these leaked cards these leaked images contents 10 packs of cards so i think that's pretty different the u scroll box the heaven and earth scroll boxes actually had uh, three packs of memory serves me. Obviously they came with like other little bits here and there. Um, and then of course in the like tiered and wave boxes, uh, tier one, we always saw had uh, 36 packs. Yeah, if memory serves me right, 36 packs. Been ages since I opened up tier one. And uh, the tier four uh, um, packs, pardon me, actually contained 18 uh, tier, pardon me, the tier four booster boxes, there we go, I'm going to get it right, contained 18 packs of cards. So this is different here with 10 packs, but again, is that like the special box that seemingly they're talking about, the more premium one, uh, whereas the regular one had like many from that other image? Who knows, again, only time will tell. Retail price, 99 yuan per box. I actually haven't done a... Um, uh, calculation there of what that equates to in like US dollars, euros, pounds. So you guys can do that what you will, but of course most of us will probably get these off AliExpress unless you know a supplier. Now the biggest thing here is time to market estimated Q4 2023. Just before we get to that though, look at the bottom here. Quantity limited including limited edition cards. And now when I think of or see Naruto Kaio cards and then hear the words limited edition, I always think of the SE cards. Yes, the BPs, the NRs, the GPs, the CRs, they are hard to get, they are rare, but I wouldn't consider them limited edition. So that does lead me to believe that the next sets are gonna contain some sort of SE cards, which would somewhat make sense. They've been releasing more and more of them um, with some of the more recent drops. But that does, of course, depend on everyone's definition of limited edition because we have seen some new SP cards as well. This is NRCC SP number one, a slightly older Naruto that's a like teenage Naruto and kid Naruto with like fist bump or forearm bump, whatever you may call that. And then we have also seen one of Sakura where a teenage Sakura is actually combing the hair of a younger Sakura. And if we zoom in on that, it is NRCC SP003. That would suggest to me we are going to have a teenage and younger Sasuke doing something as well as the number two SP card. We just haven't seen that yet. Or if we have someone, uh, you know, please direct me to an image of it. I would love to see it. And then we did also get this new PR card of all things Boruto. Well, I say all things Boruto. We've got him there on the right. We've got Kawaki on the left. And we've got this character in the middle who I believe is Ada. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. It's just from what I've read. Um, yeah, I still haven't watched Boruto. I know that's crazy because like a year or so ago when I was opening up these packs, opening up these booster boxes uh, on YouTube, I did say I'll get around to watching Boruto very, very soon. And yet still haven't watched a single episode. I've been concentrating this year pretty much on One Piece and... Then Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen, Attack on Titan, you know, as new things have been coming out. Uh, and by the way, you can love both One Piece and Naruto. I see so much, like, um, fandoms, like, you have to be at war with each other. I love both equally. They're my two favourite animes of all time. You guys can too, by the way. But, uh, yeah, interesting PR card. Kind of looks very different. Almost like a, I don't know, like a poster type thing to me. I wouldn't really know how to describe it. I will zoom in, but it's going to be very blurry. So again, apologies for that, guys. But it is continuing the older designation of NR. I believe it's PR number 45 is what I can see there. 
But um, yeah, that, that's kind of interesting. The PR cards are following that older designation. So again, it does bring questions about that NRCC designation. And apart from the leaks and images of the cards we've seen so far, which might I add, some do look really, really cool. The biggest takeaway, of course, is that release date of Q4 2023. If you guys didn't know what Q4 is, it simply means the fourth quarter of the year. So October, November and December. So yes, as you know, with the first week of November or end of the first week of November, so we're already like over a third, almost halfway through quarter four. So the release date is going to be very, very soon. And someone did actually post a comment in the BAM Collectibles Facebook group saying that their supplier informed them that these would be available from the 11th of November. So that is just four days away, guys. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean they'll go on sale to the public on the 11th of November. It just might mean they get released to suppliers on the 11th and then obviously go out to market after that. My guess, we're probably going to see an announcement at some point this month and then they'll go on sale next month. That, that's kind of my guess. I mean, hell, if they go on sale tomorrow, I will be a happy, happy camper. But yeah, I'm just trying to think realistically, but who knows? Maybe they will go on sale on the 11th of November. Just keep checking the Facebook groups, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, whoever you follow, even just keep going on AliExpress every day to see when things do drop. And well, that's the latest news and updates for now, guys. I will actually make a community post as soon as these do go on sale. Of course, you will have to be subscribed to see the community post, though. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe. But yeah, that is going to do it for today's video, guys. So first and foremost, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me here on the Geek Lounge. It is very much appreciated. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and it was informative for you. If so, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to also drop some comments below if you guys have any further news, any further images on the next sets coming out. And as always, we've got plenty more content on the way for you guys. I feel it doesn't have to be said, but as soon as those new Naruto Kai boxes release, I will be purchasing them and then opening them up as soon as they do come in. So you've got that to look forward to, as well as the usual Fungo, Lego, statues, figures, and other anime related TCGs that we open up here on the channel. Make sure you guys stay tuned for all of that and more. What is the easiest way to stay tuned, you ask? It's very simple. Subscribe, hit click, smash that subscribe button, and enable those notifications so you don't miss out on any of that future content. Over there, guys, is a link to every single Naruto Kaya box we've opened up on the channel before if you did want to check that out. Otherwise, thanks again for watching today's video, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, nerds!